Food allergy in children is a common problem and can result in severe morbidity and mortality. Previous studies show that introducing peanuts to infants at high risk for allergy reduces the incidence of allergy. But does early introduction of other allergenic foods have a similar effect in reducing allergy in children? In the EAT study, 1,303 exclusively breastfed three-month-old infants in the United Kingdom were randomly assigned to either early or standard introduction of allergenic foods. At baseline, nearly 25% of the infants had visible eczema, and at least one of the parents of more than half of the infants reported a history of atopy. In the early introduction group, parents were instructed to introduce the six types of allergenic food, cow's milk, peanuts, cooked egg, sesame, white fish, and wheat, when the infants were three months old. The median age at which allergenic food was first consumed in the early introduction group ranged from 17 to 20 weeks. The standard introduction group was exclusively breastfed until six months of age, after which allergenic food was introduced at the parent's discretion. The primary composite outcome, the percentage of infants who developed allergy to any of the six foods by three years of age, was not significantly different between the two groups. However, when the investigators analyzed the 56% of infants who were adherent to the assigned treatment in a per-protocol analysis, they found that those who received allergenic foods earlier did have a lower incidence of allergy. The authors conclude that instructing parents to introduce six foods commonly associated with allergy to infants at three months of age, as compared with the general guidance of delaying the introduction of these foods until six months of age, did not reduce the incidence of food allergies by age three. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.